As soon as I met her, I knew I have to work for this woman because basically she could do it all. I've had the privilege of knowing and working with Stacy literally for her entire career. From first hiring her at Ferguson, essentially her first job out of graduate school, and then through the various incarnations of that business, Common Health, Ogilvy, Ogilvy Common Health, WPP Healthcare Chemistry. And as any opportunity came up, we thought of Stacy. There was an opportunity for a CFO. How about Stacy? Then we needed somebody to run the medical education group. How about Stacy? And then ultimately, who was going to run the J and J business, our largest account? That was Stacy. I think one of the things about Stacy that's kind of extraordinary is how she made everything that she worked on better. I had the opportunity to work with Stacy at WPP for about eight years in team chemistry, as she had just taken on the role as CEO. She's a bit of a pioneer. This idea of a consolidated virtual company within a holding company, if you will, that hadn't been done before. Her work at Chemistry is really legendary. The name Chemistry sort of refers to what she brought to the business as well. Quite honestly, I don't think there is anyone but Stacy who could have done that. She had proven over so many years that she was in the trenches so that when she came forward as the leader, there was no question that she could definitely deliver. Whatever she's doing, whoever she's working with, she's thinking five steps ahead. Anything that she was asked to do, and she's been asked to do lots of different things in our industry, she made better. I don't know anyone who does not have the utmost respect for Stacy as a professional and as a person. She is simply the epitome of the type of professional you want to aspire to be, to be successful in this industry. It's not about her. It's about the job and the people and the product. Stacy really does always want to work for the client. She always did, not for some self-serving monetary goal. She brought a special sauce to the way she collaborated in business. And I would call that gift wisdom. The discipline and focus she brought to her professional life, she brought to her personal life. As hard as she worked, she always managed to seem to have time for her family. Her true passion was Greg and their daughters, Alana and Alex. She's a real human being, and she's not at all afraid to show her emotions or her imperfections. And it also helped enormously that Stacy has a killer sense of humor. Absolutely hysterically funny, tremendous sense of humor. Just a wonderful wit and sarcasm about her. The only issue I have with Stacy, honestly, is I really wish that she'd sit down and have a bottle of wine with me some night. She doesn't drink. And while I admire the discipline, I just really would love to crack that and get her to have a glass of wine. She is one of the most warm-hearted, kindest people that I know. So I'm not sure how she wound up in this business, but boy, she certainly made a mark on all of the people that she led. Some of the biggest things I learned from Stacy are how to really bring the best out of people, challenge them in their ideas, and bring excellence to the work every single day. Oh, she's awesome. <laughs> I think every single time she fired someone, they would thank her. They would thank her for what they had learned from her. I thought that was unbelievable. She grew every business the right way by bringing forth the full potential of products, of organizations, and people. And over the course of this 30-year career, she built a track record and she earned a reputation that's both legendary and I think unprecedented for what it exemplifies in terms of personal and professional character. So um, on behalf of all of Stacy's many advocates, supporters, and fans, I simply can't imagine a candidate more qualified for induction into this Medical Advertising Hall of Fame.